Foster's Booth. Never heard of it. Northampton, that's where I want to go. Well, the Foster's Booth does sound like an adventure. Like something out of a pirate's novel. Going to Foster's Booth. It'd be better if it was called Foster's Bosom. That would be good. This is a good place to pull over and have some fattage. Yeah, there we go, it's now paired. You need to open the app and then it will pair. See so what I'm going to do now. I'm going to play some music and I'm going to see what that does to um, to the state of things so yeah go and yep it's coming through my ears that's nice what's nice as well is like here you get your album artwork and you just slide over and it's paused. Slide down, play. So when you're driving, you're in that view. You just go down, down, and there it is again. You can skip. The only thing is, you can't change the volume on this jog dial. And apparently that's a BMW thing now. Can I? Yeah, my Bluetooth's at max. So it's from it's gonna be from my earpieces. Um supposedly the jog wheel for volume works with a BMW um comms unit. And BMW have been nice and given the API out to everybody but they haven't obviously implemented it well I say they haven't, Senna haven't because that's why I'm using a Senna 30k and I cannot control my volume like that and if I could that would be amazing but I can't so pull your fucking finger out Senna um, it's worth seeing here that um, this screen that I've got here is the same that if the sat nav was going now that would um, bring down and tell me which way to go so you can see up here I've got my speed um, I've got my cruise control uh, I've got what the connected app is telling me that the, um, the speed limit is along here then of course at the top you can see my range I can change that um, not with that I keep going for this fucking button here um, to change the information on the screen. I should be pressing up on menu, but this button here is traction control So it's th that should be down at the bottom somewhere because I keep switching off my traction control wanting to change the thing right at the top um, I've got to go back into the screen and this again shows Faffage as I go along trip trip time All this shit. I don't need distance to empty and then obviously your fuel gauge I personally like distance to empty still no one by me <laughs> um, and then it's a bit annoying you've got to do two clicks to get back into the music because I can press and hold to go to the home screen if I press and hold down oh ok, just learnt something new press and hold down and you go to that one there you go, that's a little tip for me and maybe you um, so yeah that screen the artwork that is really nice I do like that on the sat nav is the same thing the sat nav lives in that space what is annoying though is I do like the main um, the main screen that you get and like I want to see that especially if like you know you need your revometer um, and what I saw was a little preview of what's coming from BMW on the sat nav side of things and what is coming is that it's going to have, it's going to shrink the revometer over into the left hand side and the right hand side will have the sat nav and then obviously once it's given you the uh, the next direction it will then you know go back to being full screen I mean if you look at the the, the animations between you know there to here 
I mean, it's it's really slick. You can tell, you know, it's all what they've learned from the car technology, um, you know, that they've put here in the bike, and it, it, it is lovely. It is. On the sat nav side of things, um, it's very good. Again, it's done through the BMW Connected app. Um, little tip is download all of the maps first because um, when you scroll around the screen there's a lot of um, bits of the area that's blanked out um, so when you get to that bit of the area that's blanked out there's a little icon to download the map now when you do that you then get all the POIs so for example I live in Northampton and I was looking for directions to Ace Cafe in London um, by standard London isn't downloaded probably because it's so fucking big with all the POIs so I downloaded London took seconds and um, then all of a sudden Ace Cafe pops up in my search list so you know just move around England a little bit and get yourself um, all of the data down uh, that's definitely worthwhile so what is lovely really really good the BMW connected app is cool I mean you know it scared the shit out of me when I first you know went for a ride and then went back and it it replays your ride and it shows you your lean angle and most importantly your fucking top speed and I was like shit you know is this information out there and then of course I looked at my tracker and that does exactly the same fucking thing I thought oh, I'm fucked uh, but of course the data so they say stays with you and uh, it won't be passed on so um, so I've, I've enabled them again because it is quite cool to see but the um, what the BMW Connected app does is I don't know if you can see down here under dash it says 35 that's my speed next to it it says 34 in red that's where my cruise control is currently cancelled and I could just hit a button now to resume it and then next to that it says 40 and 40 is the speed limit of this road and that is beautiful how many times have you been on a road and you're like oh what fucking speed limit is this is it 40 is it 60 is it 100 um, and there you go you just quick look down and you go oh shit i'm breaking the speed limit i just calm myself down or rather in my case i'm going well under because fucking look at the state of this bloody road it should be lovely i don't think i would like riding with music but I'm actually um, quite enjoying it. It's quite relaxed. I thought, it would, again, it would be too much of a distraction. The only distraction is obviously when you get a shit song on and you, you want to skip. And, you know, this is why this ensemble um, is quite good. Uh, because, you know, it makes life a lot easier to skip, find your track. Um, but, yeah, they need to just integrate Siri a little bit better um, so you can just talk to her a little bit and uh, get it right because she's alright at slow speeds but when you're moving along, obviously the muffled or whatever, it just don't work. I, I don't know why, you know, you can't just implement Siri into bikes. That would make life a lot easier. Um, I mean, even their own version, although that said Senna's version, I had to switch that bitch off. Fucking hell, did she annoy the hell out of me. Every two minutes she's thinking I'm summoning her and then at least she knows the word cancel well enough, that's for sure. Okay, so we're back in the garage and what I wanna show is the issue that we now have with the bike and the Bluetooth. So the issue is, is you can see here that I am paired my mobile device. Now I never have an issue with that. Turn the bike on, my phone pairs to the bike straight away. Sometimes it will drop connection or sometimes it doesn't pair. You just launch the BMW connected app, it pairs up pretty quick, there's no issues there. The real issue is the rider helmet. So what happens is, is I run a Senna 30K and that is always trying to pair with my phone and not the bike. So to just get it pairing now, what I had to do was turn off Bluetooth on my phone, delete the rider helmet, then turn off the rider helmet, turn it back on, then put the Senna in Bluetooth pairing mode. So that's when you press the button at the back to pair to a mobile phone, then the bike sees it, then it pairs. My God, what a faff. So basically you can't trust your helmet always pairing to the bike. That's problem number one. Problem number two lies in the fact that when paired, I did have my telephone here 
and it worked as it should, as in someone calls, it shows me up here who's calling me, you turn this way or that way to answer or reject. When I answered, it connected because I could see the screen it had connected. I could hear that my headset had connected, but there was just no sound. So what happened was is who was calling me couldn't hear me, I couldn't hear them. You hang up, you then pull over, you then try and go through your call list, you're having to go through last dial, dial them. Again, I couldn't hear them. So the telephone part of the BMW is brilliant when it works, but I've now had it not work twice, had it work twice. It's to the point where you can't trust it. Whereas on the Senna, when it pairs with your phone, you just press this button here to answer your phone call. Works every single time. If I can't trust the telephone on the bike, it is actually dangerous. So for me, the telephone function now is an issue. Um, and that telephone function means that I have to sacrifice this beautiful media mode, um, which is what I showed you earlier in the video, where you could see you're now playing and you can have your graphics running and that side of things where you can see the phone and the graphics is absolutely lovely where you can just scroll through you can just change what you're listening to on the fly so you just be in now playing go through your playlist change to what you want then just back to your main screen press and hold to go back if you want to change your track again if you want to pause it that is really nice and i'm going to miss that functionality but at the same time the phone answering side is you know a real issue like i say borderline dangerous um also when you are paired to the f the bike normally you press this back button here the telephone and you get siri if i press it now get nothing and that is really handy on the bike if you want to now play something else, you've got to go back. You've got to go into, you know, your artists, your albums. You know, look look here. If I want to go into my album, I want to, I've got to go down. Oh, man, you know, how much music have I got on here? You know, it's like, what, how am I going to find what I want to find? You can't. And that's where just pressing the button saying, hey, Siri, play Hotel California or whatever you want. And that just comes through. It's just far easier. The only thing that really works on the media side is the now playing. Um, so on the now playing where you can see the artwork. So yeah, it will be a shame to have this and this grayed out on the screen. However, navigation comes from the BMW connected app and that is flawless. That does work brilliantly. It will be a shame to lose the media aspect, but on the center itself like i say when you're paired to the phone not to the bike you press this button here and you can have siri to take your commands um you can use various um button presses to um disable the other thing is to obviously mount your phone on here and then you can control your music through the phone and that is actually far easier than controlling your music here through this uh, media app um and the telephone side of things should be absolutely brilliant but you know can you imagine here trying to go through to make a phone call with all your contacts it's just a right pain so it's it's not really quite there although the rider aids are fantastic the media aids on this bike uh, for me i'm now going to disable them and i'm just going to pair directly from my center to my phone and i'm going to control it via siri